While we'll hold parliamentary elections this month, and its outcome will be closely watched by investors due to its massive and largely untapped mineral potential, as well as its proximity to China, Mongolia could see the size of its economy double every three or four years. That growth is largely fueled by foreign investments. But that could be negatively affected by proposed law that requires government approval for any major investments in strategic sectors such as mining. Some foreign companies are calling it resource nationalism. Joining me now is Travis Hamilton of Khan Investments. Travis, thank you so much for joining us. You have investments in Mongolia. How concerned are you by this new foreign investment law? To be perfectly honest, Rico, we're not too concerned at all. Um, I think it's important to point out that the uh, new legislation does not actually restrict foreign investment. What it does do is set up a process and a framework by which the government can uh, review and monitor foreign investment in certain strategic industries and thereby hope to protect the national uh, security uh, as well as the economic interests of the country. And it's not only mining, which is basically the backbone of the Mongolian economy, you also have banking and finance and uh, media and telecommunications. Basically, before this law was uh, implemented, there was really no tough regulation to basically uh, sort out who these foreign investments are. That's correct. Before uh, passing this legislation earlier in the month, there were no foreign investment restrictions whatsoever. Um, and it's no secret, actually, that the impetus for the legislation was the Chalco bid to acquire a significant interest in South Gobi Resources, uh, a large uh, coal uh, mine uh, in Mongolia. And at this point, uh, even though this foreign investment law uh, is implemented with immediate effect, the process has not been explained or clarified. Where does this put foreign investors right now? Look, you're right, the process, uh, the review process has not actually been confirmed as yet and unfortunately we're going to have to wait until after the June elections to actually see how the law is, is going to be implemented. Um, clearly efficiency and transparency is key uh, for, uh, for the implementation of, of this new regulation. Uh, it's also important to highlight though that um, the legislation that has been passed is not dissimilar to um, foreign investment regimes already in place in other resource-rich jurisdictions. But could this foreign investment law stifle the economic expansion of Mongolia, which is ex growing by leaps and bounds? Look, uh, unquestionably, uh, unquestionably, it was a clear consensus from the Mongolian Economic Forum earlier in the year that the country remains heavily dependent upon foreign investment in order to achieve its growth and, and development targets. We think that if the implementation of the legislation is managed sensibly, it's not going to affect the foreign investment flows coming into the country. If, however, it's not managed in, uh, in a sensible fashion, you're right, it could pose uh, significant threats to the economic growth of the country. We'll have to wait and see how it is implemented. Uh, Travis Hamilton from Khan Investments, thank you, sir, for your insights. And before we go, here's a quick look at the markets.